Like a lot of projects, uh, we were brought on with the architect when we won the project back in 2016. Um, at that point in time, I was the lead structural engineer and the project manager, so the majority of the structural concepts in the building I worked on and developed along with the architect and other members of my team. A close friend actually said, said I needed to come up and hear Phil Bailey talk about what his aspirations for the Baker Center was, and that got us really excited about Baker, so we did Baker. And then this project came out shortly thereafter. And the faculty, the students here, deserve really good buildings. You just want to work here. I was a faculty intern, so a pretty unique role. But um, it really allows faculty to get more experience, field experience, to bring it back into the classroom. It was a great opportunity for me to come and work with them for the full summer. So really, I was an intern on site. 6 a.m. or honestly some poor days there at uh, 3 a.m. there Monday through Friday working with the project team. So Largo Concrete did all the structural concrete and actually the finished concrete on the Frost Center project. I always find it gratifying to work on college campuses. It's, it's very fun to see um, building spaces that create opportunities and, and growth and education. I mean, going here to Cal Poly, I remember building models out here in the courtyard, and so I think the, the atmosphere and the environment of campuses is, is getting a lot better um, in terms of the interaction of the architecture and the, and the structure and the, and, the, and, the, and the users, the end users. Are, it's actually becoming an inspiring space as opposed to a, a classroom on the hallway. Probably done 60 laboratory buildings in my career. What's different here is the faculty and the way they think about their relationship with the students. And that brought me back 30 years earlier when I went to school here. It's an amazing faculty that it's students first. And as an example, when we started Baker and we did the same thing in Frost, normal, most universities, when you talk about where the faculty offices go, they want them as far away from the students as they can get them. They don't want to be bothered when they're in their office. Here in those early discussions, they said, no, we want a place right outside our office where students can hang out where we can see them, where they can come knock on our door. And that's a pretty unique experience. And so that drove a lot of the design in, in Frost. Largo put a ton of emphasis in the finish. So they poured actually a mock-up. It was a full-scale mock-up to make sure the team knew how to gain that finish the architect was looking for, as well as Cal Poly and the owner and structural engineer. Yes, it's a thick wall, but it's also a finished product. You know, the geometry of the building was also complicated. You can see that there's probably three or four different distinct grids on the building. And the desire was to not have interior labs and a lot of dark labs. Um, this one included, you know, there's, there's, a certain, there's a certain types of, of things that need dark rooms and not a lot of light, but most of those labs, they wanted to be able to have nice exterior lighting. So to put it in a square building, you would have lost some of that. So that was another reason why they kinked it, so that every lab and every office had a basically an exterior wall. Normally in office space, classroom space, you recirculate the air, providing about 10%. What we did instead was say, all the air in the building is gonna get pulled through the glass. And if you look, it's a really minor detail. There's gaps in the glass. All the air from the atrium, those offices, gets sucked into the, the lab space for makeup air. And then the office space has operable windows that they have radiant panels and fans. So it's very, very inexpensive to heat and cool those spaces. So it's probably saving close to 50% of the energy of a traditional building. I mean, it seems simple now, but it's really a pretty interesting way to approach a project. Same with the structure. All the structure was concrete for vibration, and we just left it exposed wherever we could. You know, so it's, how do you make it so it architecturally looks good, but it also is, is doing mul multiple jobs. And in terms of the challenges, the whole building was a challenge. The cantilevers on the atrium, the geometry, um, you know, a flat slab system works well with with rebar in two directions, but when you start doing these grids, you get, you get layers of rebar, and so there were some areas in those slabs of 12 inches where we've probably got six layers of rebar because you've got them coming in at all different angles, and so a lot of that was coordination that no one else will ever see because it's all inside the concrete and the walls. The thing that you can't see is all the time and effort that did get put in um, with a lot of the CAD alums working together. I love walking past it and seeing the finished project, walking my students past it, and looking at different aspects, how that got put together. So I think the finished project tells one story, um, but really all the lessons learned just tells a number of different ones. So.